what is up will here and today i'll be showing you how to give your npc an animation when it is using pathfinding so before i get into this video i would like to explain what i will be doing slightly more in depth i will leave a timestamp on the screen right now that you can skip to if you just want to get straight into the tutorial so yeah what this will do is make it so instead of the NBC floating when it walks like this as you can see it glides along the surface now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is here in the NPC click on the plus and add an animation in the animation you are just going to want to rename it I'm going to name it run animation actually no i'll call it run anim just so it's shorter what we're going to want to do now is find our run animation so there's two ways we can do this the first way is click play okay so the way we are going to do this is well there are two ways the first way is you can go onto the roblox catalog and then you can come on to the avatar animations go on bundles and let's say you like the ninja walk or run i guess you come here to ninja run you want to copy the link and then you want to paste it where it says animation ID or the second way you can do this is by going on to plugins clicking on animation editor click on an NPC either use this one or you can add another one name it what you want uh, let's just say NPC run anim create and then we're just going to position it how we want. So I'm going to rotate it. So that it walks kind of basically. Not going to be anything too fancy. Okay. So there's our first part. Then... I like to come over to here, right click, copy. I like to come to about 12, right click, paste. And then we just need to change it to basically the opposite way. So the arms can be in line if you want. Personally, I'd say it doesn't really matter whether they're in line or not just as long as they're similar and yeah but if you leave it like this the torso will stand still so i recommend rotating the torso just a little then seeing as we have this part copied come over to 21 right click paste keyframes click on this little loop thing here click play that's what it will look like okay uh let me copy that and then paste it right click paste there we go so that's what it will look like the only problem is it does look a little bit slow as it is our run animation so i'm gonna pull that down to nine and pull this down to 18 and let's see how it looks i'd say that looks pretty good for a run animation so once you've got your animation sorted out click on these three dots click export and you can rename it here just click submit once you've renamed it and then it will give you a link to where your animation is on the library just click to that copy it come back here feel free to close this off and yeah you can just delete this anim saves part or the NBC if you are using a different NBC for this then here in the NBC where we've got the run anim 
as we would have done for our animation pack. We just paste it inside of this animation ID. Hit enter, it will shorten it down for us. And then that's the run animation inside of it. However, that's not good enough. Let's give it an idle animation. Then we're gonna want to click on the plus, add an animation. Name this one to what you want. I'm gonna name this one to idle anim. And then here we need to get an idle animation. So animation editor. We can just click on create new. Uh, let's name it um, NPC idol anim. Hit enter. And then just position how you want it to start off. So let's say it, start off, it starts off like that. Then let's say it goes to maybe like here. It will just have a little look around. And then, wait, let's move this to six actually. Then at about 12, we're gonna have the same thing wait no at 12 we're gonna have this then at 18 we're going to have this part but not exactly that part we're going to have it the opposite way oh well, no not like that not breaking its back so it's looking this way ever so slightly and then we're gonna grab this part copy it and put it at 24 paste click the loop and as you can see it just rotates the head a little bit so i think maybe change the arms a little okay so we're just gonna click off that and have a look at it here so as you can see the arms go up however it looks a little bit weird because it just feels a little bit too rushed. So let's put this to like 21, push this like there, and this about there. Let's see how this part looks. Oh, actually, we want this to, uh, hmm. we need to get the arms to just be up here. Okay, now let's look at it. Okay, I'd say that that is fine. So we're just gonna do the same as last time, export, click submit, click on the link, copy it, come back, close, close, delete anim saves, come down to idle anim, in animation ID, paste it, hit enter, and there we go. We've got our two main animations. Obviously, you can add more if you want, but that's all I will be adding myself. Then what you're going to want to do is open up your script. If you have not watched part one already, I will put that in the iCards now. And also, there will be a link in the description and also pin comment down below as I'm using the same script I used in there so I recommend checking that out what you're going to want to do is add a few lines in between it there here type local then define your idle animation so I do anim equals game dot workspace dot n p c dot idle anim you can name it idle animation here or there it doesn't really matter then basically copy this and then paste it below but run anim or whatever 
you want the other one to be called. So we've got Ron Annam there as well. And then skip two lines there. Local idol Annam equals NBC dot humanoid load animation open brackets idol anem and then basically let it close the brackets then drop a line and do the same thing for run anem so local run anem equals npc dot humanoid load animation run anem and yeah there we've got that and then you're gonna want to come here oh so here you're gonna type idol anem or whatever you called it i just realized this is supposed to be track not just plain anem so just rename this to run anim track and idle anim track so then this can be different to that basically equals play open brackets that just basically makes it play before the NBC starts moving so I might set this to like seven seconds so you guys can actually see it actually I'll set it to eight and then between each time it moves you want to add a run and then track play open close and also make sure to get rid of the idle anim track before you do that so you just do stop instead of play here and then here we can just get this and paste it there so you guys will be able to see this so there's the idle animation track and then it's walking whatever's here seems to make it go all weird for some weird reason so let's add a wait of like three seconds and then idle animation. this part should work now so it's got the idle animation or it looks side to side then it runs okay yeah so that's fine the only problem is it's three seconds so let's try out five so yeah this is kind of like the last tutorial you are going to need to time the timing right so basically it goes to the correct spot at the correct time and doesn't stop early or move to the next one too fast so yeah that's about fine it would be like 5.5 roughly so i'll just change that it to that right now and yeah if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way then please 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 leave a like as that means youtube will send it to other people which then means they could actually be making the next big game because of this one tutorial and this could be all they need for their game and just liking the video makes it so more people see it which could actually make them start scripting in the first place as well so yeah please leave a like if you found this tutorial helpful and if you're new here and enjoyed this video or found it helpful or maybe you've just been here for a while and you like lots of tutorials and just haven't thought about subscribing yet then why not do it it's free only takes one click no two clicks so yeah but until next time Keep scripting, keep developing, goodbye guys.